Hello and welcome to Amos today. And today we have a very special guest among us, Mr. Shreyansh, the computational biologist and a data science enthusiast. We welcome you, sir. Hello. Uh, thanks for having me. So, can you share your experience as a computational biologist and what led you to pursue your career in this field? Um, so, I would say computational biology is is uh, a unique field, uh, which is basically a combination of uh, both bio and maths. And yeah, I mean, I mean that's what I wanted. For for me, uh, the biggest confusion while transitioning from 10th to 11th was to uh, go for bio or maths so i i wanted both and and uh, finally i'm i end up uh, working with both so can you share some of the projects related to computational biology uh, yeah so so um, we we basically work with uh, biological data or or data in life sciences uh, we work upon analyzing those data and interpreting uh, what what we can uh, infer from those data and and what can be useful in uh, biology. Okay. Sir, how do you see AI and ML transforming industry in upcoming years? Um, I I would say uh, AI is is the much needed change uh, in 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 life sciences because uh, for for decade we have been working uh, in labs only uh, giving many uh, many years to just single project and and ai uh, transformed it to to do a single project in in within uh, within days so what tips would you give to the students who are willing to enter in the field of data science um, yeah, uh, I, I would I would say um, you all must must uh, go for it, and and it's it's too fascinating because it's um, it it consists multiple discipline uh, in it, and and yeah, you, you would love it. Thank you, sir, for giving your precious time. I am Nandini Agrawal with cameraman Atmaj. I am us today.